Okay, here we go. This is a single barrel Rochester carburetor. First of all, we're checking the fuel pressure, which we have preset at three pounds, which you're going to have to set it at three pounds by using a a uh, fuel regulator. Right now, I'm going to turn the fans on to cool this motor off while we start it up again. Okay, here's what you got. It's got three inch centers here. From center of that bolt hole to center of that one, three inches. This linkage pushes up, which is common on all Chevrolet products prior to 1963. 1963, they change and it's over here and it pulls down. This has got the top that designed for a stud to go down through there and hold your air cleaner on. This has got a cable for the choke. So it's a, it's a manual choke. Fuel comes straight in, pointing toward the radiator up there. This will be looking at the carburetor from the windshield. Okay, here we go. As you see, she started right up. We're going to rev it up a few times. Make sure it's all warmed up. We're watching our computer all the way around. Foot pound is torque. This in here is going to be checking some other things. Okay, put a load on it. We're going to put about a 15,000 pound load in the back. Now the, part, the more we rev up the engine, the more load it puts on there. It'll put a load on there so much as it stall the motor out, even with that little single that little single barrel carburetor. But we're measuring on that top scale up there, foot pounds of torque converted over mathematically. When we take it up there to the maximum. That there's well over 400 foot pounds of torque. You got to do the mathematical conversion. The RPM, try to pull in power minus the thing, and it's a, it's a mathematical equation. That carburetor will pull, supply the fuel and air at the proper mixture to pull a load like that. That's equivalent to, uh, well, let's see, if you had a big wife that weighed about 650, it would be like trying to pull her on water skis going down the road, dry pavement. That carburetor would pull it. All right, we're going to cool it off, we're going to shut it off, we're going to put it up for sale. Remember, have a good day.